Carl? Yeah! Greetings and salutations, oppressed cowboys! Oh no, not him again. Together, comrades, we will build a better world! You know reading, don't you, Pete? Oh yeah. That is, if there ain't too many letters. And I reckon you can read this. Uh, uh, all, uh, re ranch o o owners are, uh, the, th the thieves. Yep, that's what it says here. All ranch owners are thieves, and I'm one heck of a good reader. Huh. Mr. Glutton sure ain't gonna like this. Greetings and salutations, oppressed workers. Comrade, will you give me some water? We don't give drinks away here, we sell them. I see you are a hard-hearted lackey of the greedy capitalist oppressor. No, I'm a bartender. So all ranch owners are thieves? Yes, they steal from the workers. Are you a worker? No, he's a ranch owner, shorty. Meet Gilbert Glutton, the biggest rancher in this whole county. Then he's the biggest thief in this whole county. You're gonna stop calling me that, and you're gonna stop handing out rabble-rousing leaflets to my employees! Oh, no, I'm not! I will continue my struggle against evil ranchers who cause social injustice! I'll show you injustice by stringing you up from a tree! It's a hanging, boy! We ain't had a hanging in a couple of drinks! <laughs> Nobody's getting strung up today. Why is that, stranger? This is a free country. Hanging a man for his beliefs is wrong. Then I guess the hanging will have to wait until we deal with the meddling cowboy. My life! Let us embrace like brothers! Uh, no thanks. I'm Lucky Luke. Pleased to meet you. Greetings and salutations! Here's your water, sir. How about some barley juice for flavor? Comrade Luke, wait! I could certainly use a brave man like you to help me build a better world! Sorry, no can do. I've got to catch four escaped convicts. Ah, I see. You must find four working men who have strayed from the path of social solidarity. That's one way to put it. You go build your better world, and I'll clean up this one. Well, comrade, if you should ever change your mind, come and join me. Right over there, among those green hills, I am erecting a new citadel of social sweetness, a beacon of brotherhood to which I have given the inspirational name of Fredonia. Giddy up, Carl. I've seen some crackpots in my day, but that one takes the cake. Come on, Charlie, let's go and track down those Daltons. Get along now. Well, someone stole a horse from the barn during the night. I'll finish my story after the Pony Express comes through. Well, after the horse was stolen, there were four sets of footprints on the barn. I bet I know who those footprints belong to. Joe, why we only steal a single horse? Cause we are so sneaky. Why do you think? If we'd stolen four horses, Lucky Luke would know it was us. Oh yeah, but what if the horse gets worn out from carrying all four of us? No problem. I'm kind of partial to horse meat. <laughs> Was it something I said? Oh, oh, I don't do that, Joe! Oh, you tie yourself out. Looky there, boys. It's a nice, peaceful little cabin. With a donkey parked outside. 
Whoever's in there is about to get the scare of his life. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Avro! Come and Joe! I was just admiring the sunset! Get your hands up! Of course, I raise my hands in welcome! You are obviously the victims of an unjust legal system. Come, let us embrace like brothers! Mwah! Greetings and salutations! Mwah! You must have suffered terribly! Hey. Hey. But no more! Hey! <laughs> Enough with the kissy kissy stuff! We are the Dalton Gang! So start trembling and pleading for your life! I am not afraid of you. I know the law has branded you as dangerous, ruthless criminals, when in truth it is society that transgressed against you. But now you shall be happy at last. For you have arrived in Fredonia, the land of liberty where all men can live in peace with a chicken in every pot and other nice but impractical benefits. The guy's loony, Joe. Let's steal his donkey and get out of here. No. This joint is the perfect hideout. We can take it easy here, but that means we've got to play along. Well, comrades, will you stay here and help me build a better world? We sure will, comrade. We'll be glad to help you build a better world, especially one without jail cells. <laughs> Wonderful! Now let's get to work, because there's no time to lose. We must make homes for the thousands of honest, generous, peace-loving people like you who will flock to live joyfully in Fredonia as soon as they read my very latest leaflet. Pick up your tools, let's start building. Not to embrace me like a brother. <laughs> From now on, nobody's gonna make me drop a drawers. Mr. Glutton! Mr. Glutton! What's the matter? That little fella. He's at it again. Oppressed workers, a better world awaits you. Come to Fredonia, where there are no unjust laws, no profiteers, no... No thieving ranch owners! You realize, of course, this means war. Emmett, point me! Well, these tracks show a heavy horse getting lighter, then galloping off. And four sets of footprints walk away. Jolly, something tells me we're getting close to the dolls. Joe, if this is what you had in mind when you said we'd be taking it easy, we might as well go back to jail! Shut up, Admiral! <laughs> the work is hard. But as long as we're here, Lucky Luke will never find us. Comrades! I bring news that will make you deliriously happy! We have a new comrade in Fredonia! Greetings and salutations. I may not be smart, but I know one thing. Trying to outdraw Lucky Luke's a waste of time. Come on, you guys are going back to jail. Oh no, they're not going anywhere. But they're dangerous outlaws. Here in Fredonia, dear comrade, there are no outlaws. Because there are no laws. Except the universal law of kindness and hospitality. Well, that's a nice sounding law. I wouldn't want to break it. As long as these four men are helping me build a better world in Fredonia, you cannot bring them back to jail. All right, then, fair enough. I'll abide by the universal law of Fredonia. You're not arresting us? Nope. I'm not going to break the law. So I'll wait till you get sick of this place and leave. Then I'll arrest you. Comrade, look out! <laughs> A dangerous weapon, someone help me! <laughs> what a display of emotion! Such heartwarming honesty! If you think we're going to leave this place anytime soon, cowboy, you've got another thing coming. Because we're helping to build a better world. This I gotta see. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Comrade, what did you do with those instruments of destruction? Yeah, where'd you put our guns? Where you weren't likely to find them. And I took out the bullets. <laughs> this grub ain't bad at all. 
Well, thank you for the meal. I think I'll turn in now. Comrades, I'm afraid we only have one bed. But that's not a problem. We will simply sleep in it one at a time. Here in Fridonia, everyone is equal, even in... Thanks, anyway, but I'm more comfortable sleeping under the stars. What do you know? It's that skinny fella. I got a score to settle with him. We'll jump him, then make quick work of the short guy. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Can you see if he's sound asleep? Yeah, Comrade Joe. He's definitely sleeping like a baby, Comrade Joe. Would you stop calling me that, you knucklehead? We'll get lucky, Luke, then we're out of here. Double, uh oh. A piece of cake. <laughs> Things I do to earn my oats. Yeah! You shouldn't wear overalls, boss. They don't flatter your figure. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? I heard gunfire. Just a pack of coyotes. I scared him away. Say, you guys always work at this hour? Uh, why, yeah, we thought we might, seeing as how we didn't feel sleepy. How noble you are! And to think I was snoozing like a filthy capitalist, but you've helped me change my ways, comrade. Thank you! <laughs> From this moment on, we will labor day and night. We won't lay down our tools until Fridonia is built, and the light of social justice shines forth upon a better world. Comrades, I promise you that in the People's Republic of Fridonia, streets will be named after Joe, William, Jack, and Avril Dalton. Avril Dalton Street. Hmm, that has a real nice ring to it. You see, Comrade Luke, these men are not criminals. All they needed was to live in liberty, and they immediately revealed their true niceness. If this keeps up, we'll soon have a fine pistol collection. Thanks for your help earlier, pal, but I was wide awake. Oh, sure, and I'm a cocker spaniel. Well, good night, and remember, my horse is watching you. The very first chance we get, we'll finish Lucky Luke and hightail it out of here. Oh no, we gotta stay, Joe, cause if we don't help build a better world, how will I ever get my name onto a street sign? Uh, I have an idea. I'll just carve your name onto your forehead! Oh. That's gotta sting. Oh, oh, oh! Wash my eye oh! oh, oh! The horse had sharp teeth. <laughs> he gave you a nasty bite, boss. Next time I'm the one who's gonna be nasty. Mark my words, the skinny fellow will pay for this. Ow! Don't rub so hard. Where are you going? To put up some more of my leaflets urging oppressed workers to come to Fridonia, the glowing beacon of hope for all of humanity! Not a good idea. Gilbert Glutton and his henchmen may be out there, you know? <laughs> Comrade Luke, do you think I'm afraid of danger? Uh, I couldn't help overhearing. Lucky Luke is right for once. Fridonia needs your leadership, Comrade Zakowski. So let's have the leaflets put up by someone whose life is worthless. Avro! <laughs> I gotta tell you, Joe, it hurts my feelings when you talk like that. Ah, eh, shut up. Now, don't worry, you can trust Avril. He's too slow to pull a fast one. Slow, huh? Well, you can get someone else to put up those leaflets, because I'm slowly digging. Don't start with me, Avril! Brotherly love can be such a wonderful thing. Maybe it's not such a bad idea after all. Glutton's men wouldn't dare attack one of the Daltons. My thoughts exactly. But don't be counting on Avril to get any weapons for you. Don't worry, they never count on me. Oh, relax, Luke. We're building a better world, remember? You've got to learn to have some faith in your fellow man. That's right. Put away your instrument of destruction. It is very disturbing to the gentle people who live here. Yeah, like me. Fridonia is a land of peace and harmony and goodwill. Okay. Dear brother, take these leaflets and hand them out to the oppressed workers in the countryside. 
and find us some guns and horses. But, Joe, I thought you weren't supposed to count on me for that. Shut your yap and do what you're told, you blithered idiot! Yeah, how about armor-plated suspenders, boys? Or a cast-iron belt? Quiet, both of you, uh, I'm thinking. Uh, I got it! Why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a stroke of genius, boss. No, your pants can't possibly fall down. Uh, doesn't make me look fat, does it? Uh, no, I'm quite slim, in fact. Greetings and salutations! It's a good thing you're going to do it! Oh, you can count your valuables. I just wanted to ask for some horses. Feel free to take ours, Mr. Dalton. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I also need some guns. And by the way, <laughs> we're building a better world for oppressed workers. If you want to have a street named after you, come to Fredonia. Yes, yes, Mr. Mr. Dalton. Do anything, anything you say, Mr. Dalton. Dalton. Gee, that was easy. For once, I haven't messed things up. What's our plan? Very simple. We shoot at anything that moves. Hey, Joe. Avril's back. Guys, I have great news. I found some more comrades to live with us. I tell them to get guns and horses. And he brings back a stagecoach with the passengers still inside. Avril does tend to get a bit carried away. Some new comrades. Oh, how wonderful. Greetings and salutations, friends. Let us embrace like brothers. Hold ah. it. This time, I get to go first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait a minute. These people aren't here of their own free will. Can't you see they're scared to death? Oh, no, 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 no. We aren't scared to death at all. Oh, we're very much alive. And we're here of our own free will. Yes, yes we're, we're all here, here of our own, own free will. will. They're so enthusiastic. Once again, you're proven wrong. Guys, we're going to steal the stagecoach and get out of here. But, Joe, I've still got a whole lot of leaflets to hand out. I'm going to hand you a black eye if you don't shut up and get moving. Comrades, why are you standing there with your hands up? We like having our hands up. It's comfortable. And elegant. This just gets worse and worse. Yeah, get it on. Yeah. Sorry, old boy, I didn't have time to put on a saddle. Hey, Joe, there's a whole lot of guns in here. Huh? Jolly, stop! Whoa. Comrades, I must point out that you will never be able to build a better world with your arms up in the air. You know, I think we're safe now. <sighs> stop! <laughs> Take cover! What do we do now, Joe? Isn't it obvious? Start shooting! No! I'm lucky, Luke, you idiots! You've got to wonder, when will we ever learn? Do calm down. We always win. <laughs> I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning! Stop shooting! Let the women go free! Well, don't forget the children! There are no children in here! I have the brains of a four-year-old! Hey! Where is everybody? I think they all got scared and ran away, boss. Especially after they got their pants shot off. Oh, why is it so hard to get good help these days? Glutton! Hold your fire! There are some innocent stagecoach passengers trapped in here! Let them go free! And the driver gets to go free, too! All right! They can come out! Comrades! You mustn't leave! Don't you want to build a better world? Don't you want to live in peace and loving togetherness in Fridonia? Forget it, Shorty. We're out of here. <laughs> that looks like you're in a jam, Lucky Luke. How are you going to get us out of here? <laughs> Through the front door, Joe. 
I'm sending out the Daltons, too. The Daltons? The Daltons? That means the skinny guy must be Lucky Luke. I was wondering where I'd seen those mugs before. What are you doing? Well, our job is to stop your cattle from running away. Right, Emmett? If you want us to stop bullets, too, we're going to have to talk about a raid. Go back to your places right now and start shooting! Huh? Oh, no. That does it! You're fired! Both of you! I told you we will. You see that, comrades? We defeated the forces of capitalist oppression. So pick up your tools, everyone. We're going back to work, and together we shall build a better world. We can't take this anymore! Don't you get it? We don't want your better world! A world without rich people to rob or loot to stash? That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard of! Oh, please, Luke, please take us back to jail. If we hurry, we'll be there by Tuesday. They serve cream corn on Tuesday. So long, my little friend. Farewell, comrade. Never lose faith in peace and justice. Do your part to build a better world. Ah, oh, don't worry. I will. Does this mean I'm not gonna get a street named after me? Harold, shut up! Now then, tomorrow, comrades, we will go to the ranch and protest against the exploitation of hard-working cows. For the fight must go on! <laughs> <laughs>